going on everyone welcome back i hope everybody's having a great day guys sorry for not getting out of the videos i've been very busy i hope everybody had a great christmas i did so i hope you all did as well all right guys we're going to get into a photo from valis marineris and if you guys are not familiar with valis marineris it was named after the mariner spacecraft and this is the area right here where it has this giant scar on mars right uh they believe it was some people believe it was like lightning that caused this like another body next to mars and uh, the this electrical situation went on between the two planets. Some people believe something scraped along the side of it, which could very well be. And if I'm not mistaken, they said that the United States could fit in the length of this thing. Okay, that's pretty interesting just in itself, right? So the area we're going to look at is right here. And this is pretty interesting because these are what they believe to be ancient volcanoes. And I'll give you guys this page. You'll, you'll see it. Um, so I'm just going to read a small piece of it. However, this image shows cones with summit pits that are very similar to cinder cones on Earth. They are also very well preserved, uh, peppered by only smaller impact craters. So they must be geologically young, perhaps less than a few hundred million years old. I don't know how they get these numbers, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? So we're going to look at it right now. Here it is. You guys will get this link as well. Now, the area I want to concentrate on, you can see a bunch of these small what look like uh, ancient volcanoes. Uh, but what we're going to look at is down here. This is pretty interesting. Now, I'm just going to show you this up close because you can even see some of the lines that look like ancient ruins in mud because we all believe that there was a great flood on Mars. And I believe what happened, if this is true, that this mud washed over these areas and their ancient landscaping, ancient structures buried in within this. Of course, you guys always have the last word and are the judge. Let's get into this. Okay, just look at some of the lines here, okay? Some of the shapes of this landscape, if you will. Um, we got lines here. Right here, there's one, okay? Almost like an oval shape type thing, if you will, right? And it looks like what we have is structures or something in the middle of this. And you'll see there's a whole lot clearer in a moment. Here's another thing I want you guys to see. This is cool. It's very faint. You may have to use your magnifier. I'm going to put it smack dab right here in the middle of the screen. Right here. Let me see if we can just zoom into this more. Nope. We're, we're at its limit. Okay. I'm going to use the cursor to just go over the straight line. It's a straight line. It goes like this. Slants down and comes down. There is what looks like a quarter to half a circle right inside that right here okay and what looks like it has a little extension line going from that circle line to the outside of this almost like hexagon shape okay again you'll see that a whole lot better in a moment other lines here okay this is also interesting notice these extremely highlighted or exposed areas if you will right here top left the bottom right here, left. Guys, these appear to be structures. And we try to break it down to see if we can find anything, right? Look at this under here, under this kind of gray, because it's only a black and white or gray um, photo. And you can see what looks like elongated or rectangular items underneath this dirt, if you will. And something right here. Right now, you can see like little separations or something going on in there. And I want to make this clear when we get into this, okay? Another object, if we go back here real quick, right here, again, use your magnifiers. I'm going to go around it with my cursor. It's like a little magnifying glass to be exact. Right here appears to be another structure of some sort. But again, look at the land. The cutout of the landscape here goes all the way out. Looks like it goes into this other cratered area shaped over here doing the same thing going up we have what looks like a, a d-shaped impression in the dirt here okay let's get into this because this is cool i'm going to back this off here go way out okay i'm going to jump into photoshop and have a better look at this now this is the area we we're talking about here this is what i was talking about i'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen right here right here very faint goes across Goes down. And then we have what looks like a half or quarter round circle going like this. And it looks like it has some kind of darkened lines that connect from there to there. That's all you see of this. We'll go back and forth to this. Yeah. Okay. 
other things. Again, look at the shapes, especially this piece right here. Okay. You'll see much more of this. Okay, let's just dive right into that. I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into pretty much a full enhancement, right? Check out the shapes that are embedded in this dirt. And I've got different modes to show you this. But again, like this. This kind of D-shaped depression here. You can actually see something that looks like almost white right here. Look at the shape this thing comes down. It looks like these small finger type things like this. You guys see that? Okay. Here. Looks like it does this. Is that done naturally? Hmm. Good possibility. Check out these things here. Here's that shape I was telling you about. Looks like half a octagon. Okay. Other pieces here. Again, this may not be too clear because this might be actually buried in mud. We have no idea. Here's something similar to this one here. Look at all the small pieces in here. We got this area here. Right in here. And look at the dots, or the darker areas, if you will. It almost looks like it's doing this. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Almost looks like it's going like this. Of course, that should have been more out like this. But anyway, looks like it has fingers coming down. And then you see these darker circles or details in this area. See that? And here. And I think this is weird, too, because I said this earlier. I'm going to go ahead and go to the original. Right inside here, look at the way this thing is laid out. Okay? Look at the ground. Is that natural? You can see what looks like a slot here. Very faint. Another one here. Check this out. And I highlighted it so we can see it a little bit better. Now, again, we're looking at this area here. Somehow, I don't think that that is natural. And I try to bring this down so we can see this a little bit better. This piece right here. Look at the way that thing is coming out. Looks like it has this weird shape going like this. See that? Not sure what these are. But they seem to be awfully reflective or highly exposed just to hide what they really are. Now, this could actually be mountain ranges or some kind of weird shapes. But again, I don't believe something's going to do this perfectly straight across, come down like this here, and what looks like some kind of other piece coming down to that area. Check that out. So let's brighten it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you this other area because this is cool down in here. Okay, check this out now, guys. Here. Is that there? Let's have a look. Absolutely. There they are. You can see them right there. Look at the shape of that. Okay. Again, this area here. Every bit of this, guys. See it? The shapes that are in here. Is this natural? I say absolutely not. Just the, just the absolute cut out of the land proves to me that this is not natural at all. And again, we have these three little darker spots. Well, it looks like almost like a little L shape structure. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't very high quality or high res. So therefore, we don't know if there's many different things sitting there. So we really don't know. But just have a look at these pieces, guys down here 
Okay. I see what looks like something or uh, many things have been washed over by possibly mud. And we're only seeing bits and pieces peeking out of the ground. Maybe it isn't at all. Maybe because it's not high res. And when we zoom into it, it just kind of breaks apart, giving that illusion that it looks kind of buried. Maybe it's not at all. Right. Let's go into this now a little bit deeper right here. Okay. This I find pretty interesting too, especially right in here. Looks like some kind of weird structural framing, if you will. Okay. We've got a cutout on the ground here. You can see it right here. Looks like something right there. Another corner right there. Have something right in the middle of that. Almost like a cutout piece of land. Right there. Looks like we got one, two, maybe three, like, oval-shaped or rectangular-shaped dock details. See that? Here's the original right there. Doesn't that look more like framework than anything else? Again, giving credit to the idea that maybe they built into some of these grounds, meaning these hills, these buttes, maybe even underground. And I just noticed this just now. Guys, check this out. I did this earlier. Goes over here. Goes like this. Goes like this. Well, let's make that corner a little sharper. Down like this. But have a better look. It still goes on. What are the chances of land doing this by accident? Now, I'm not saying that Mother Nature can't do some crazy things. We know that she can, right? But check this out. Look at the way this thing is laid out. I don't think this is natural areas at all. I believe there's much more to it than, than just, you know, simple rocks and soil and stuff like that. Okay. When I see this stuff here, I see remnants of an old city. To what it looks like to me. To me, this doesn't show like a natural shapes, right? We can see things here. Very faint, but they're there. See that? Again, what looks like structural pieces. Different weird looking things like this here. See that? When I see this, look at the outline of this piece of the ground. And it just happens to be these pieces here right there. It looks to me like some of this has either been purposely covered up or it's actually under some dirt. I don't know. Are these lines actually there? Absolutely. Right there. You can see what it looks like other pieces right in here, too. Let's have a closer look. See that? Just these weird-looking shapes. Things that are together. Making shapes that mm, shouldn't really be there. Right? I'm seeing many shapes that just, I don't know, they kind of jump out at you. Like if you're looking from above, like a, like a war torn city that's been demolished and decimated, this is what I see. Okay. And some things don't really look like they've been completely wiped down. Like this piece right here, which I just find interesting. I don't know why it's just, it's just cool to see this piece right here. Let me just back up just a hair bit. Okay. Again, this area here and this one right here. This one right here looks very similar, again, to the one on the right. Right there. These things actually look the same. Or similar to, right? And like I said, just to cut out of the landscape, guys, it just, it just screams intelligently made.
it looks artificial, intelligently made, had a purpose at one time. As always, you guys be the judge. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share. It is appreciated. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so this way here YouTube will share it. And guys, a couple things coming up. On Friday, we will have our hangout. It won't be as long because I'm going to be doing things uh, on New Year's. So it's not going to be very long, but we're going to be there just so we can have a little chat like we always do. And guys, on Saturday at 5.30 Eastern Time, Jimmy's going to have both me and my buddy Dave Gannett from Mars X 3D. And we're going to take apart a photo. I believe it's an opportunity photo. And we're going to rip that photo apart. If you guys are not familiar with the real Jimmy Roberts, I'll drop a link down the bottom anyway, so you guys can check it out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off this thing. Everybody have a great evening. Be safe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.